Hi, Rick Bryson here, and I have another video on the SEL RTAC family. Today I'm going to go through Accelerator RTAC software, which is the software used to configure any of the devices in the SEL RTAC family. So the first thing you do is start the software by double-clicking on the shortcut, and then the first thing you're going to get is a screen that asks you to log in. Now what you're doing is you're logging into the database. Later we'll log into the RTACs, and there are two different logins, okay? That's important to remember. The database has a default username and password, and this is the database that's on the PC. The, uh, the default username is admin, and the default password is tail, all capitals. So type that in, and then later you can go back and change the uh, username and password, and you do to get a, a message telling you that you should do that. Okay, so this is the project view here, and kind of gives you an overview. There's this SEL round button up here. You can click on that, uh, create new projects, create new from XML, which we can cover in another video. A lot of other options there you have. Any projects that you have, and each project is kind of the configuration file for the RTAC, that's going to be contained in this area right here. This button right here is, you can click on that and you can read a project out of an RTAC. So all of the settings that you have in an RTAC you can read out and then you can restore it later if you replace the unit or, or have another one exactly like it. Um, this button right here is the new button, so you click on that and you can create a new project. And then if you ever get stuck, up here there's a little question mark. And that question mark, if you click on that, gives you the instruction manual. It comes uh, pre-installed with the software. So I'm going to create a project real quick and just walk through the screens real fast so that you're familiar with the software. So here it asks you what firmware version. So if you have uh, some really old firmware, then you can certainly create projects for those. You can name the project anything you like down here in the project name. Click on Create, and then it opens the project. The project is divided into a couple different groups. So on the left-hand side, it's called the device tree. And all the devices that you add, that's anything that you're going to be communicating to or that's going to be communicating to the RTAC, all of that information will be kept in the device tree, including user logic. On the right-hand side will be a window of each device as you click on it or each one of these items in the device tree. For example, right now, the, uh, the main project is clicked on, so this is the overview of the project, including a project description, and you can use that to uh, put revision information in there or anything that you like. Up at the top, you have this round SEL button again, and pretty much anything that you have as a menu item, you can right-click and add to the quick access toolbar, and that's pretty, pretty handy. So what I like to do is put the, uh, the save in the quick access toolbar, and that shows up right up here, so I don't have to hunt for it. Um, another thing is there's this home ribbon, and pretty much the whole top things are put together as ribbons. So there's copy and paste and a lot of those uh, standard items. Later, when we develop a project, we'll want to go online with the project, and this is how you do it. You click on the Go Online button. There's some tools that we could talk about later, and also a comm monitor that allows you to see the communications while you're online. The Insert button is really the main ribbon that you'll use when you're developing a project. So here you can insert devices. Say I want a, an SEL uh, relay, so here's all the SEL devices that are supported, which are all of the SEL devices. If it's another protocol, then uh, those are contained here. So maybe it's a DNP SCADA device that I want to insert, then I can click on that. If I want to add new folders to the device tree, I can also right-click anywhere here, and I can add a folder by right-clicking there or by clicking on this Add Folder. There's a 61131 logic I can add, and several different kinds of tag lists. Later, we're going to talk about adding the a client and a server and combining them together. And the clients and servers and all of that information will be here. Pretty much it on the software overview. Again, after you configure the project, then you would click on Go Online, and it will go online with the project. And I'll show that in another video. And certainly, you could research the uh, instruction manual or watch the next video to go over this in more detail. And this was kind of the overview. And if you have any other questions, you can contact us here at SEL. Thanks.